What's up guys, thank you. So what an incredible batting performance, 161 for 3 was the score at the 30 over mark and the score 203 runs in the next 20 over. A complete batting performance by the Kiwis even though the openers went quite cheaply. 32 4s and 9 6s in this innings tells you quite a story. A ball of Alexis Melinda's calibre being destroyed at the back end. The inning started off in a slow fashion with the first power play seeing the Kiwis get to 55 for the loss of the two wickets. Ken Williamson and Rose Taylor then joined hands to put up a stand of 116 and set the platform up for the bashers who would come in later. Williamson looked really well set before getting out after his 50. In came Henry Nichols and along with Rose Taylor kept the scoreboard taking early on with singles and doubles. Once they got set, they went bunkers. Rose Taylor started it off and got to his 20th ODI century. He reached 137 before finally falling to Malinga, but that didn't stop Nichols. In fact, he went into fifth gear and smashed the balls to all parts in route to his Madden ODI turn. He and Nisham put up a 63 run unbeaten stand of 23 balls and powered New Zealand to a total of 364, which looks way above par on this wicket. Facing the looks of it, so they would not be easy on the wicket, which is holding up slightly. So, once more, Sri Lanka have faltered with the old ball, the conceded 57 runs of the last three overs, the target set is really huge and Sri Lanka will have to go at and run it power over of more than 7 right from the start. Not going too easy, but with the series already gone, they have nothing to lose and should go for the win.